Hi everyone, my name is Justin. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to perform a t-test to compare two means using SPSS. The data set that we'll be using in this tutorial is Ipsos Reads 2011 Federal Election Exit Poll. If you'd like to learn how to download the data set from the Wilfrid Laurier University X Drive, you can visit our website at lizpop.ca and watch our first module on SPSS. When we want to test for mean differences between two groups, we use what is known as a t-test analysis. The independent samples t-test is used when comparing two categories of an independent variable, so for example, gender, and we compare that against a continuously scaled dependent variable to see if the two groups have statistically different means. In today's tutorial, we'll be comparing the religiosity of those that live in rural areas with those that live in urban areas. To determine if there is a statistically significant difference in the religiosity of those two groups, we'll want to use a t-test analysis. For our example, I've created an index variable which measures religiosity. It has been labeled R-E-L-I-G. An index variable or composite measure is created by combining two or more separate variables or indicators into a single measure. In another tutorial, we'll explain more about index variables and how you can create your own. This particular index variable consists of four separate indicators. The first measures the importance of religion in a respondent's life. The second measures the frequency with which the respondent attends their place of worship. The third indicator measures whether the respondent believes in a god. The fourth measures whether the respondent believes the holy book of their religion is the revealed word of God. Together, these four indicators have been recoded and combined to create our new index variable called relig. This variable is a zero to one index variable that measures one's level of religiosity. A score of zero means the respondent is not religious at all, and a score of one means the respondent is very religious. In this tutorial, religiosity is going to be our dependent variable. Our independent variable is the urban-rural variable. This variable specifies whether the respondent lives in an urban area or a rural area. Now before beginning the t-test, it is important to verify two things. First, you need to have an independent variable that is categorical. Second, you need a dependent variable that is continuous. In our example today, the urban versus rural indicator is our independent variable, and it is, of course, categorical. Our dependent variable is religiosity, and it is continuously scaled from the value of 0 to 1. To begin our analysis, we're going to want to click on Analyze, compare means, and then independent samples t-test. We use the independent samples t-test when we want to compare how two, and only two, groups score on a particular continuous variable. For example, we would use the t-test to compare the religiosity score of urban respondents to rural respondents. In the dialog box, you'll have to make two selections. First, we want to select our test variable. This is the dependent variable. In this example, our dependent variable is religiosity. Next, we'll need to select our grouping variable, which is our independent variable. In this example, our independent variable is the urban-rural variable. Notice the two question marks that appear in brackets next to our urban-rural variable. SPSS requires you to indicate which groups are to be compared. This is done by providing the data values for the two groups we are comparing. To determine the data values for urban and rural respondents, we can right-click the variable in the Grouping Variable field and select Variable Information. The Variable Information window will then appear, and under the Value Labels, you'll notice that urban is coded as 1, and rural is coded as 2. Go ahead and return to the independent samples t-test dialog box, and then you can go ahead and define the groups by clicking on Define Groups. Enter 1 for urban respondents in group 1, 
and enter 2 for rural respondents and group 2. You can then go ahead and click continue. And then you can go ahead and click OK. Under group statistics, we see that urban respondents have a mean score of 0 0.4295 and that rural respondents have a mean religiosity score of 0 0.4695, which means they are slightly more religious on average. It is also important to note that there are far more people from urban areas surveyed than there are people from rural areas. We should also be aware of the standard deviation. The standard deviation of the religiosity score is slightly higher for urban respondents than for rural respondents. The main objective here is to determine if the difference in mean levels of religiosity differ between urban and rural respondents. To determine this, we need to examine the t-test, which takes into account the two groups' sample sizes and the two groups' standard deviations. We begin by examining the column entitled Levine's test for equality of variances. To understand the importance of Levine's test for the equality of variances, we need to understand that there are different versions of the t-test formula. One formula is based on the assumption that the two groups being compared have similar variances. They may have different means, but their variances are similar. This is called homogeneity of variance. If, however, the variances are not the same, then a different version of the t-test is applied. SPSS runs both versions, but leaves it up to you to determine which one to use. For guidance, the Levine's test for equality of variances provides some information about whether the two groups, in this case urban and rural respondents, have different variances. In effect, this is a test of the null hypothesis that both groups have equal variances. If the difference is sufficiently large, then the Levine's test would lead to a rejection of that null hypothesis. In this case, the slight difference in standard deviation between urban and rural respondents is sufficient for us to reject the null hypothesis that the two groups share equal variances. This is shown here by the significance of decimal 000, which is well below the decimal 05 threshold for statistical significance. This is important to understand because it determines how we read the rest of the table. Because we rejected the null under Levine's test, we cannot assume homogeneity of variance, and therefore we are interested in the row wherein equal variances are not assumed. Had we not rejected the null hypothesis under Levine's test, we would be interested in the row wherein equal variances are assumed. Now we can proceed to the actual t-test to determine if there is a significant difference in the mean level of religiosity between urban and rural respondents. We'll begin by examining the column entitled Mean Difference. The number in this column tells us the difference between the means. In our example, the difference between the means is negative decimal 0, 3, 9, 9, 9. Next, we'll want to examine the t-score. The t-score is calculated by dividing the mean difference by its standard error. In our example, the t-score is negative 8 decimal 884. Finally, we'll turn to the significance column to determine whether we can reject the null hypothesis. The value in this example is very much below the decimal 05 threshold, and therefore we can reject the null hypothesis. This means that urban and rural respondents do not share the same level of religiosity. That's it for this tutorial. If you'd like to see more SPSS tutorials, please visit our website at lizpop.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter at LaurierInst. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next.